The Cane Corso is a reasonably large Italian breed of Mastiff known for its loyalty and protective nature. Originally bred as a working dog, this breed is still used today for tasks such as herding cattle and hunting. However, this versatile dog is also a great family pet and well suited to homes with older children and other pets. But there's a lot of debate surrounding the temperament of this intelligent, majestic canine. Some people claim they're gentle giants, while others believe they are dangerous dogs prone to aggression. Watch this video until the end, to learn if cane corso dogs are dangerous or not. Are cane corsos dangerous dogs? Cane corsos are large, muscular dogs, and their size can be intimidating to some people. Males can weigh between 100 to 110 pounds, and females can weigh anywhere from 88 to 99 pounds. But just because they're big doesn't mean they're automatically aggressive. In fact, the corso is often described as being calm, loving, and gentle. However, like any other breed of dog, they can be prone to aggression if they're not adequately trained and socialized. Without the proper training and socialization, a corso may become aggressive towards people or other animals. But with consistent obedience training and plenty of positive reinforcement, they can make fantastic additions to most families. Does the cane corso have a reputation for being aggressive? Sadly, the cane corso has something of a reputation, but this is often due to bad press and misunderstandings stemming from their history. According to the clubs, their lineage dates back to ancient Greece, where they were called Molossus, or Molossers, named after the Molossi who inhabited the region. This working breed served various purposes during this time, including hunting, herding, and guarding property. Eventually, the Romans adopted the Molossus and bred them with native Italian breeds. The resulting offspring were the ancestors of the Corso and Neapolitan Mastiffs we know today. These lumbering giants quickly became prized dogs of war, used to fight alongside the Roman legions on the front lines. Indeed, the Cane Corso was a formidable battle opponent thanks to their size, strength, and courage, further solidifying their aggressive reputation. Does the Cane Corso have a reputation for being aggressive? Sadly, the Cane Corso has something of a reputation, but this is often due to bad press and misunderstandings stemming from their history. According to the clubs, their lineage dates back to ancient Greece, where they were called Molossus, or Molossers, named after the Molossi who inhabited the region. This working breed served various purposes during this time, including hunting, herding, and guarding property. Eventually, the Romans adopted the Molossus and bred them with native Italian breeds. The resulting offspring were the ancestors of the Corso and Neapolitan Mastiffs we know today. These lumbering giants quickly became prized dogs of war, used to fight alongside the Roman legions on the front lines. Indeed, the Cane Corso was a formidable battle opponent thanks to their size, strength, and courage, further solidifying their aggressive reputation. What factors affect a Cane Corso's aggression? Multiple factors are in play that can influence a cane corso's aggression level. First, studies have shown that aggressive behaviors are more likely to occur in dogs bred from other aggressive dogs. In other words, aggression is often passed down from generation to generation. Because of this, owners should be prepared to firmly and gently train their corso pups from an early age. How does a cane corso react to strangers? Because they've been bred as guard dogs for so long, a cane corso is naturally suspicious of people they don't know. Although they can be trained to be more accepting of strangers, it's important to remember that they will always have a strong protective instinct. They may never be warm and welcoming to everyone they meet, but with proper socialization and training, they can learn to tolerate strangers and not react aggressively as long as they don't sense a treat. If you prefer a dog who's more outgoing and friendly towards people they don't know, the cane corso probably isn't the right breed for you. They take time to warm up to people, even then, they may never be the love at first sight type of dog. It's tough to change a corso's protective nature, better to accept them for who they are and not try to force them into being something they're not. 